so this is the next question here analyze the feedback control system with forward path gain which, which is given as 12 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 and feedback gain h of s is equal to k into s okay we need to determine the value of k and all the time domain specifications okay so what and all they have asked to ask uh, to find first we need to find the value of k and all the time domain specifications so time domain specifications means all of them that is a uh, uh, delay time, rise time, peak time, peak overshoot and settling time. We have five time domain specifications. All of them we need to find. Given that they have given the value of damping ratio zeta, they have given already that is 0.8. Okay. So the first thing what we need to write is the given data. Okay. In order to avoid confusion first uh, write this only. I am not writing it again. The zeta they have given it as 0.8. After that uh, try to find the transfer function that is C of S by R of S. Okay. Since uh, in the given data they have given the value of g of s as well as h of s, so that's why. So the formula is d of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s, right? So our c of s by r of s is equal to 12 divided by a square plus 4s plus 16 divided by 1 plus g of s in that is 12 divided by a square plus 4s plus 16 into h of s that is k s right so our c of s by r of s we are getting it as 12 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 divided by take the lcm that is uh, s square plus 4s plus 16 plus 12 into k into s so 12 ks divided by again s square plus 4s plus 16 so we can cancel these two out so our remaining answer is c of s by r of s is equal to 12 divided by s square and we have 4s as well as 12 ks so in this s is common so we can write it as 12k plus 4 into s okay so here in these two terms uh, s is common so i have taken 12k plus 4 together plus the constant term that is 16 so this is our transfer function c of s by R of s okay so now again the same thing compare this with the general form that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square okay and consider the denominator part as i've told you so in this case here the value of omega n square is equal to 16 write that omega n square is equal to 16 so omega n is equal to square root of 16 so therefore omega n is equal to square root of 16 is 4 so 4 radian per second S similarly in place of 2 zeta omega n we have 12 k plus 4 so 2 zeta omega n is equal to 12 k plus 4 okay so 2 into zeta they have already given in the question that is uh, 0 0.8 into omega n we have just now found it as 4 is equal to 12 k plus 4 so that's why so if we multiply these three terms you will be getting it as 6.4 is equal to 12k plus 4 if we multiply 2 into 0 0.8 into 4 we will be getting it as 6.4 so 12k is equal to 6.4 minus 4 so 12k is equal to 6.4 minus 4 is 2.4 so therefore the value of k is equal to 2.4 divided by 12 if we solve this the value of k we here which we are getting it is 0. 2 okay so in this way we need to be finding the value of k here so hope you understood this step so now after this they have also told us to find all the time domain specifications right so one by one we need to find we, we need to be finding all the time domain specification that is uh, tr td uh, tp mp and ts okay so now let's find out so nothing much to do direct the formula uh, writing the formula and direct, direct substitution so uh, let's solve it now so first let's find the value of td the formula for td is 1 plus 0.7 zeta divided by omega n so they substitute the values of zeta and omega n that is 1 plus 0.7 into the value of zeta is 0.8 divided by omega n is 4 so if we solve this the answer which we are getting is 0.39 seconds okay so this is the value of td so the same thing the, the next uh, time domain specification is let's consider rise time that is tr the formula for tr is pi minus theta by omega d right but uh, for uh, tr we need the value of theta as well as omega d so one by one we need to be finding both of them 
So first let's find theta that is tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta. So that is theta is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta value is 0.8 square divided by 0.8. So our value of theta if we solve this in a radian mode we need to be keeping it. The answer which we are getting is 0.59 radians. Okay. So similarly let's find the value of omega d. Uh, the uh, omega d is omega formula is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square so omega d is equal to omega n we have got it as 4 square root of 1 minus 0.8 square so omega d is equal to if we solve this the answer which we are getting is 2.4 radian per second okay you can check it later in the calculator you can solve it okay since there is no time i am not doing it step by step i am not showing the calculation as well the answer which we are getting is 2.4 radian per second Okay, so now we have got the values of theta and omega d. So substitute in the formula, that is pi. The value of pi in general form, form uh, general value is 3.14 minus the value of theta is in radians is 0.59 divided by 2.4. So the value of tr after solving this we will be getting it as 1.0625 seconds. Okay, so this is the answer for tr. Okay, so the same way next thing is. P that is peak time the formula is pi by omega d the omega d is given pi the value is 3.14 your omega d is 2.4 so after solving this the answer we are getting is 1.308 seconds okay so this is the value of tp so the same thing the next thing is peak overshoot that is mp the formula is e to the power minus pi zeta divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square so that is mp is equal to e to the power minus 3.14 into 0 0.8 divided by square root of 1 minus 0.8 square. If you put this term in the calculator, the answer which we are getting here is 0 0.015. Okay. Or if you want to convert it into percentage, just multiply by 100. So it is 1.5 percentage. Okay. So this is a peak overshoot. That is, it is of 1.5 percent. So the next uh, time domain specification is the last is Ts that is settling time. The formula is 4 divided by zeta omega n in general if uh, the tolerance band is of plus or minus 2%. So 4 divided by zeta is uh, 0 0.8 into the omega n we have found it as 4. So 4 and 4 get cancelled. So 1 divided by 0 0.8. So our Ts is equal to 1.25 seconds. Okay. So in this way we have found all the values of TD, TR, TP, MP and TS. Okay. So go through these problems HOS. Okay. So now let's get in brief to the concepts of type 0, type 1 and type 2 systems. That is analysis of type 0, 1 and 2 systems. Okay. So let's consider our first case that is input selected is step of magnitude a again we are selecting the first input as our step input okay in this first case also we are considering three different systems that is type 0 type 1 and type 2 so now first let's consider type 0 system okay we know that whenever this the system is of type 0 here in order in, in place of j we will be putting it as 0 i have told you right whenever j is equal to 0 the system is type 0 so in this expression the only change here is for this s power it becomes s power 0 for step input also we have uh, uh, seen the expression for kp okay so write that expression kp is equal to limit s tending to 0 g of s into h of s okay yeah so now here g of s into h of s here expression we have it here and also s power 0 is equal to 1 okay so this term also vanishes so now when we substitute the limits that is s tending to 0 what you would be getting 1 plus t1 into 0 so this whole term would be 0 so again t2 into 0 this whole term would be 0 and here this also would be 0 this also would be 0 that is 1 plus 0 and into 1 plus 0 that is 1 plus 0 is 1 so we are getting k into 1 into 1 divided by so s to the power 0 is also 1 so again 1 plus 0 is 1 into 1 so that is k by 1 that is equal to k right when we substitute that uh, when you put the limit uh, s tending to 0 so our value of kp which we are getting is, is equal to k that's all I've, uh, that's all you have written here see yeah 
so this k here is the constant value therefore our steady state error ess is given as for k in case of kp that is a divided by 1 plus kp right yeah so now in place of kp substitute it as k so our final steady state error for type 0 system which we are getting is a divided by 1 plus k okay similarly do the analysis for a type 1 system also in the same way okay yeah type 1 system and the input is a step uh, this is the general expression where this uh, uh, j when we are putting the value of j is equal to 1 here okay for step input again this is the formula and here we are getting our kp is equal to infinity okay so now let's see how we are getting it as infinity again put the limit as tending to 0 so again this whole expression would be k divided by 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 that is k only divided by h, h to the power 1 okay it is s only so in place of s now it will, we need to put it as 0 okay whenever this is 0 this whole term would be 0 so that's why we are getting the expression k divided by 0 we know that anything divided by 0 is equal to infinity right so that's why we are getting our kp here as infinity so our steady state error is a divided by 1 plus kp in place of kp substitute it as infinity that is 1 plus infinity it is infinity again so our final expression is a by infinity again we know that anything divided by infinity is equal to 0 so our uh, in case of type 1 system our steady state error for step input is 0 okay similarly let's analyze for type 2 system also when uh, the input applied is step so again g of s into h of s expression in place of uh, j substitute it as 2 put j is equal to 2 so this would be s square so for step input this is the steady state error again we are getting it as infinity since again this whole term uh, this is equal to when we put the limit as tending to 0 this is k divided by in place of s square uh, again 0 so this would be 0 so anything divided by 0 is again infinity so we are getting infinity again again our steady state error we are getting it as a by infinity that is equal to 0 so therefore we can say that for any type of system more than type 0 the infinite error is 0 okay so this is in case of step input okay for any type of system when the input applied is step more than type 0 the infinite error is 0 so leaving type 0 other two systems that is type 1 and type 2 our steady state error uh, we are not getting any steady state error okay yeah so this is all about when the input applied is step so similarly let's uh, see the second case that is when the, whenever the input selected is ramp of magnitude a again the same thing assume type 0 type 1 type 2 write the expression for g of s into h of s where this is s to the power 0 so since s to the power 0 is 1 so i have not inc included that yeah so again now the input select is ramp right so now we need to be taking kv that is velocity error coefficient in case of ramp okay again for velocity error coefficient we have the expression with limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s right yeah so now here we are getting kv is equal to 0 how whenever we limit uh, so, substitute the limit that is as tending to 0 what we are getting k into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 that is k divided by uh, 1 plus 0 k into we have one more term s right since uh, here we are saying that uh, limit as tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s this would be s k right so k into s divided by 1 plus 0 that divided by 1 okay again here uh, s is there so we need to uh, substituting that also equal to 0 and also we are in the numerator place we are getting 0 so 0 divided by 1 is again 0 right so if, uh, finally we are getting our kv value as 0 that's why i have written it here it as 0 so now again the steady state error expression when in case of ramp input that is a by kv and kv we are getting it as 0 so a divided by 0 so anything divided by 0 is again infinity so in this case when we uh, take consider take in consider the type 0 system whenever the input applied is ramp our steady state error we are getting it as infinity okay so similarly for type 1 what we are getting uh, same uh, same thing take the expression g of s into h of s where uh, uh, substitute the value of uh, s to the power 1 here since it is type 1 again uh, write the value of uh, kv that is limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s so now this would be s into k divided by s to the power 1 is again s into 1 right so again this s and s would be getting cancelled okay yeah so that's why our expression so uh, don't uh, directly put s uh, tending to 0 okay we can cancel it as out so this is k by 1 is equal to k right yeah so 
so whenever we apply the limits before applying the limits only we can say that we have sk divided by s so first we can cancel this s out after that when we uh, apply the limit what we would be getting this expression we would be getting that is equal to k so now again the steady state error ESS is equal to A divided by KV. So in place of KV, we are to substitute the value of K. So our steady state error in case of type 1 system for a ramp input is A by K. Okay. Similarly, let's see the type 2 system. Okay. Again, same thing, I'll put the expression of G of S into H of S, S square for ramp input, the value of KV is equal to infinity here. So again, S into G of S, so this would be S. We have here S and s and s square so one s would be getting cancelled and after that again one s would be remaining here so we would be getting k divided by zero again after applying the limit so this would be infinity so in place of k we substitute infinity and we are steady state error for type 2 system we are getting it as zero right so similarly input selected is parabola of magnitude s this is the third case where we are selecting the input as parabola again assume type 0 system Write the expression for type 0 system here again this is s to the power 0 so this would be 1 so I have not written it. For parabolic input now we need to be considering the value of Ka that is acceleration error coefficient limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s this type okay. So now this is also again 0 right so here what we have s square in the numerator we have so limit s tending, s tending to 0 so the whole numerator part would be 0 divided by anything which we are getting again it is equal to 0 only so that's why the ka value we are getting it as 0 so the st steady state error is equal to a divided by ka so in, in place of ka substitute the value of 0 so anything divided by 0 is again infinity so that's why for type 0 when the input selected is parabola our uh, steady state error which we are getting is infinity okay so same goes with type 1 the same expression here in place of uh, j substitute as 1 s to the power 1 so this would be s to the power 1 so the same expression for parabolic input ka is equal to limit s times 0 s square into g of s into h of s so we need to be uh, adding one s square here so we can cancel this s to the power 1 and one s s to the power 1 here so our remaining expression is we are again uh, remaining with one s here so after uh, substituting the limit that is this whole numerator term would be equal to 0 and uh, anything divided by 0 divided by anything is again it is equal to 0. So our ka we are getting it as 0 again in place of uh, the ka substitute 0 again we are getting steady state error in case of type 1 for parabolic input as infinity okay. So same goes with the final uh, thing that is type 2 g of s into h of s uh, so write the expression in place of j substituted as 2 this is a square again for parabolic input k is equal to limit s tending to, s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s so here we would be multiplying s square so we can cancel this both out okay so our remaining term is here so again when uh, limit uh, after substituting s tending to 0 this would be again k divided by 1 so that is equal to k so here we are getting k so finally in place of ka substitute the value of k so in case of type 2 we are getting our steady state error as a by k yeah so these were the three cases here when whenever the input selected is of step ramp and parabola the different expressions for steady state error we are getting in case of type 0 type 1 and type 2 systems okay you need to be knowing this please note it down okay uh, and after that again i have created one table here yeah, we, in order in case you won't forget so that's why see I have made a column of type of system error coefficient and steady state errors error coefficients we have three error coefficients that is kp kb ka and steady state errors we have three input signals that is step ramp and parabola so for type 0 system our kp we are getting as, is equal to k kb we are getting equal to 0 ka we are getting equal to 0 the step input when in case of step input our steady state error is a divided by 1 by k for ramp input when in case of type 0 system it is infinity for parabolic input infinity so in similarly i have made it for type 1 system and type 2 system okay you can take this table okay so yeah that's all